What the hell is this place? Garment factory. I needed a job that didn't require me to do anything apart from uh, paying taxes. Okay, listen. What do you got? The Holy Grail. The Union Depository. Now, they say it cannot be hit. Hasn't been yet. Look, I just owe some Mexican hood a couple million bucks because I wrecked his girlfriend's house. I don't need to go crazy here. Which Mexican? Martin Madrazo. He's not supposed to be very nice. No, oh, when I met him, he was charming. <laughs> so what do you think? Oh, um, let's see. Either we hit a bank in the sticks or we do a store. Which do you like? Well, <clears throat> store's usually easier. But I gotta make a big take. Oh, well, gems it is, then. Let's go to Vangelico, buy ourselves an engagement ring. Oh, we're gonna need a crew. I can round up some of the old guys. There are no old guys. Moses, uh, ironically, he found Jesus. Uh, all those Irish crazies, they mostly just disappeared. That crew from the south, they all went down. There was uh, an Eastern European guy making moves in Liberty City, but uh, he went quiet. All right. Well, we're gonna need a crew. You got any contacts in LS or not? I've been working with someone, but they're too unpredictable. I'll have to reach out to some other guys. The shop's on Little Portola. Your FIB buddies, they uh, know you're back in business? FIB buddies? What are you talking about? I checked out the WPP thing. Doesn't look like any WITSEC program I'm aware of. But for starters, they, uh, they don't put witnesses up in multi-million dollar mansions in Rockford Hills. Well, maybe they thought this would be the best cover. And most witnesses don't transfer five-figure sums into a particular FIB agent's bank account every month. Of course, the money gets moved around and washed through a number of fronts, but the trail is there. Deposits and withdrawals, the same sum every month. Agent Dave Norton, white middle-aged divorcee, unremarkable career, except for one incident, the shooting of a notorious stick-up man, Michael Town. Yeah, 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 all right. Lester. I'm very impressed. Look, uh, we can talk about this another time. Take these glasses. My eyesight's fine. They're fitted with a camera and a radio relay. I'm gonna run the operation from the car while you're in the store getting what we need. Here we are. You reading me? Mm-hmm. Okay, we need shots of the security features, the alarm system, ventilation, cameras. The keypad and we're done. All I need is a shot of the alarm keypad. Uh, shots come through. Camera check. Alarm check. Vents check. Good work. Now speak to the assistant and see if there's anything else we need to know.
Hey, beautiful. I need to pick up a little something for the woman in my life. Well, one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I'm sure we can help you. Tell me about her. What's her taste? Cheap. Thank God. This ain't my wife we're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to spend too much. I'm thinking maybe 10 grand. Our rings start at 8. Our pendants start at 12. All right. So these things built to last, or am I just paying for the Vangelico logo here? Oh, no, 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 no. We use perfect clarity jewels. 18 karat gold, 950 platinum. Nothing but the best. All right. I think you just made a sale. I'm going to take a look around, think about it, come back to you, baby. Don't go anywhere. I understand. OK. Thank you, sir. You got it. Come back to me. Have a wonderful day. So, we good? Almost. I need to get eyes on the roof of the building. See where the ventilation comes out. Yo, holla at me. Drive us around the block. We gotta find a way up to the roof. But I love big tits. Okay, my phone's telling me there's some construction around the corner, behind the shop. Let's go there. So, you keep up with the old crew? You know, after your death slash disappearance, there wasn't much holding us together. Yeah. You see him at all? After the incident? I kept tabs on him for a while, needed to, uh, know that he didn't blame me. I saw a ladder. Climb up it and see if you can get to the roof. Yeah, where'd he go? North, south, east, west, wherever there were liquor stores to turn over and hitchhikers to disappear. Where did they bury him? They buried him? Not as far as I know. He's probably a John Doe then, right? What do you think? OD? Shootout? Maybe just a car crash, right? I'm on the roof! All right, use the glasses to get me a shot of Vangelico's roof unit. It'll be right above the store. <clears throat> Anonymous charred remains on the highway? They only knew what a sick puppy they had on their hands. Hey, I see the vents. Yeah, I'm looking at the relay. Can you get any higher? I've pulled up a satellite image. It looks like the highest point is on the northwest side. Get a shot from there. on the roof now. Okay, that'll do. Now come back to me before someone spots you up there. Let's speed this up. We don't want to draw attention.
Here, take your glasses back. Let's go back to the garment factory. I called ahead and told him to start setting up the information. So, what did you see? Well, nothing that'll cause undue complications. Yeah, it looked like a simple setup. Cameras broadcasting to a remote server. We might be able to wipe them remotely. Security guard on the door. He won't want to die from rich assholes to rub his nose in it. But good. The alarm system's left to the door lock. We'll get a good window if someone talented hacks it. Anything else? Well, the uh, more valuable merchandise is in the cabinets in the center of the store, by the register. So I'd start there. Mm. Glass in the cabinets wasn't bulletproof. Means you could smash them easy enough, but the stones will be in the safe at night. So, we go in when it's open, then? Right. Once we melt down the gold, recut the rocks, that's an okay score. Yeah, shame we can't go in after hours, man. Those vents look promising. I might be able to flip that another way. I'm listening. Wait till we get back. About the crew. Yeah? There's this kid who's been helping me. Maybe we could cut him in. I don't work with amateurs. He ain't an amateur. Or if he is, he's a gifted amateur about to turn pro. He's a good kid, Lester. You know what they say. It's your funeral. One of them, at least. <laughs> Here are the photos. My uh, workers have their uses. Okay, let me set this up. <laughs> Nice to see the methods haven't changed. Well, we gotta figure out what we're doing somehow. All the crews, the rolls, prep work. Don't wanna leave evidence behind on a hard drive. So yeah, the uh, methods don't change. Right, not for a pro. <laughs> well, mapping out the options, you know, showing you all the angles, that's my area of professional expertise. But making decisions, that, is your domain, my friend. Here. You know, there's two ways I see of doing this. We go... The alarm... So... Ah, you've grown wise and cautious in your old age. Okay. Select personnel. Now the driver, they'll source the bikes. Eddie Toe. Now you can count on him to... Gus Packer. Back office, but... Harris! <laughs> that look good to you? Are you sure? Great. Uh, I'll do some research on a pesk... Oh, yes. Huh? Good, good. I'll call you when everything's ready. You'll need to pitch it to the guys. Whoa, what? My rep don't count for nothing no more? You're a dead man, Mike. I'll call you.